what's the general picture? In people who've got HIV, they've got treatment, their CD4s are healthy. What's the picture of MPOX? The news is that MPOX is a horrible illness, and I wouldn't wish it on anyone, but it's self-limiting. And what we found is that most of the people that we've studied so far and have been reported on so far who are living with HIV have really good counts. So well over 500, the viral loads are undetectable. And in those people, we haven't seen any differences for people living with HIV or without HIV. It's exactly the same. It's unpleasant, it's horrible, but it's the same. And what's the picture for people with much lower CD4 counts, let's say less than 200? So in this situation, for people with CD4 counts less than 200, it's a completely different disease. And what we're seeing is a very, very severe, very widespread, awful rash, which is also affecting the internal organs. And what we're seeing less than 200 is the mortality rate is 15%. And when the CD4 count is less than 100, the mortality is close to 30%. So these are really very, very striking, very shocking findings. There were no deaths with CD4 counts greater than 200. So we were reporting on 27 people who died, and every single one of them had a CD4 count less than 200, and almost all of them had CD4 counts less than 100. And interestingly, the viral load itself was important. So there were more deaths in people who had CD4 counts less than 200 and high viral loads than people with CD4 counts less than 200 and controlled viral loads. So viral load itself is an important factor. And some of the symptoms were really quite distressing, weren't they? Yeah, really, really distressing. And people having really terrible lung disease, terrible infections, eye infections, and high frequency of difficulty swallowing. But the skin lesions are really the thing that is very noticeable. So they're very, very large and they occur far away from the site of infection. So all over the body um, and they sort of spread and they emerge and they are some what we call necrotic lesions. Uh, and it's a very different presentation to what we've seen with people with good C4 counts. What, what's the take home message? What I'd like to ask of each reader is to think, is there someone in your life who may, as a result of stigma or for whatever other reason, not have had an HIV test or not wanted to do a test? Because if that's the case, speak with them, encourage people to take a test for HIV because they could be living really well with a very low CD4 count, no manifestations yet. But if they got MPOX, which is circulating, it's not at high levels anymore. But there are human to human transmissions now it's established in human populations that person could become catastrophically ill and die as a result of mpox so it also looks like access to health care is part of the problem here yeah i think that's definitely the case i think we can say that we haven't learned from covid as we should have done and there are gross inequities in terms of access to vaccination uh, particularly for latin america they grow some inequities in terms of access to antivirals. And there are also inequities in terms of accessing high levels of care, like intensive care and, and sort of support that you would need to survive a very severe illness. So while these inequities exist, outcomes will not be the same. And it's very sad that this remains the case. You know, just we've gone through one pandemic and we can see that we've learned practically nothing and nothing has changed for the, for the next one.